But in order for them to put that in there, they must have clearly thought it was Stevie J or think it's Stevie J. But what about your friends? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down? Hey, hey, ho. Y'all, this Lil Rod Jones lawsuit is spilling all kinds of tea, and every single day it seems like a new friend of Diddy's is being exposed. And this time it's one of Diddy's key players in this whole drama. And you guessed it, it's your boy, Stevie J. Now, we everybody knows Stevie has been rolling with Diddy and Bad Boy crew for years. But according to this lawsuit, he might have been up on that freaky business with the big homie. But let me tell y'all, the details in this thing are wild, from the illegal weapons to straight up S assault allegations. News outlets must have been having a field day with this one because Diddy and Stevie J just can't catch a break. Nor should they. But let's break it down. So this lawsuit with Lil Rod Jones filed against Diddy is no joke. In the 70 page document that basically is spilling all the tea on Diddy's alleged shady dealings, one of the craziest parts is how it implicates Stevie J. Remember when Stevie earlier defended Diddy about his heinous allegations? In an exclusive interview with TMZ, he claimed, whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got anything to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. He even went on and called out other celebrities like 50 Cent who were trolling Diddy at the time saying that he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. He even went as far as calling 50 and Uncle Tom saying that he's not concerned about him. Uncle Tom cats like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me, I don't know if y'all saw the post where 50 posted about me, of course you guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, 50 um, has been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody. Well, Stevie and Diddy have a real friendship and having each other's back, but one could wonder, why that is? Well, it seems like maybe there was more to the story as it seems to point out in Little Rod's lawsuit. So what was Stevie J's role in all this Diddy mess? According to the lawsuit, Rodney claims that Stevie directed Stevie J to recruit ladies for his parties, and he even instructed to find the less older ones, if you know what I mean. The lawsuit even says that Diddy showed Rodney some explicit material that allegedly featured Stevie J engaging with another man, Caucasian male to be exact. Well, Diddy supposedly tried to play it off as normal practice in the music industry, saying even Stevie J is doing it. He knew Lil Rod admired Stevie J and looked up to him as an idol, as Gene Dill, Diddy's former bodyguard, says in an interview. He knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past. This kid looked up to Stevie J. Now what if Puff told him that that was Stevie J in the tape? Yeah, I don't know y'all. It's a lot to unpack here. He knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past. This kid looked up to Stevie J. Now, what if Puff told him that that was Stevie J in the tape? Of course, Diddy's lawyers refuted these allegations. One of his lawyers, Sean Hawley, said in a statement, Little Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. He then added, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, undisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored. As Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls, we will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. Despite all these statements, Stevie J is still roped into the lawsuit. You can imagine Diddy trying to use Stevie J's reputation to pressure him to do some freaky stuff, right? Well, it's all messed up on a whole nother level. And the worst part is Rodney's not the only one making these kinds of allegations. And when all this was said, Stevie J wasn't having it. He straight up told TMZ, these allegations are false and my lawyer will be handling this going forward. But you know Stevie, he just couldn't resist adding a little bit more to the story. He went on social media and wrote, I wasn't that guy. 
The last time, I ain't never going to be that guy. I'm one of God's favorites. Don't play with my name. Basically, he's saying that the video ain't him. But we got you on the counter. It wasn't Stevie. Because allegedly, he's not about that life. But the thing is, fans ain't really buying it. You see, the history between Stevie Diddy and Faith Evans has a lot of people questioning Stevie's story. I mean, these three have been connected for years, even before Biggie passed away. And the way their relationships have gone down over time, it's all kind of messed up y'all like let's rewind back a little bit because back in the day stevie j was actually the godfather to faith and biggie's son cj so you think that they were just good friends right well that all changed in 2016 when stevie revealed that he and faith were actually an item now a lot of people were pretty skeptical about this because stevie was basically like an uncle to cj but Stevie and Faith tried to play it off, saying their bond was just familial and that Biggie would have been cool with it. Yeah, I don't know about that one, y'all. Fast forward to 2017 and Faith is low-key spilling the tea about their relationship. As she puts in during an interview at The Breakfast Club, I'm not sure that you really ready and I'm mature enough. I mean, I was mature enough going into it. Like, I know there's a 50-50 chance it may not work out, but I know that I have to be mature enough to maintain our friendship. Well, that doesn't sound like a super loving relationship. I'm not sure that you're really ready. And I'm, I'm mature enough. I mean, I was mature enough going into it. Like, I know there's a 50-50 chance it may not work out but I know that I have to be mature enough to be able to maintain our friendship. But it gets worse, y'all. Faith even said that she found out Stevie was still messing around with his ex-girlfriend while they were dating. And she said, I'm not a man stealer, a homewrecker, you know? Well, that was interesting. Well, some people are even speculating that the problems in Stevie and Faith's relationship might have been the result of Stevie's alleged involvement with Diddy. Now with the story that's going on between Stevie, Faith, and Biggie, you start to wonder how deep does Stevie's connection with Diddy really go? I mean, the lawsuit is claiming some pretty freaky wild stuff about Stevie J being involved in Diddy's alleged freak-off parties and scouting for exotic workers. And you can't ignore the fact that Stevie's been a fixture of Diddy's bad boy crew for years. They go way back, and according to the lawsuit, Stevie was apparently one of Diddy's go-to guys when it came to these Shady's events. In fact, the lawsuit even says that Diddy would try to use Stevie's reputation to manipulate this Rodney fella. So apparently Diddy told Rodney that the video he was showing him was of Stevie J, thinking Rodney would be cool with it since he looked up to him. But the thing is, Stevie he's trying to distance himself from this. He's insisting those allegations are false and that this lawyer will handle it. But with all the history between them and Diddy and Faith, a lot of people are just not buying it. Now, just when you thought that this story couldn't get any wilder, an adult film star named D'Angelo Knockout Mayors comes out and basically says it was him in the video, not Stevie J. Knockout went on Twitter and said, that's me shaking my head. So now we got this corn star claiming that he's the one on the video, not Stevie J. And you know the internet is having a field day with it, right? He then added, I know they will not bring him down off my name, try again. But the thing is, who's telling the truth? Because it very well could be Stevie J. And then this D'Angelo knockout person is covering for him. So we really don't know the truth. The lawsuit specifically named Stevie J. But the feds clearly thought it was him and Stevie's denying it. But with all the other shady stuff he's been linked to, it's kind of hard to say who's telling the truth or not. But yeah, y'all, this whole Stevie J and Diddy drama, it's a mess. You got Diddy getting sued left and right and Stevie J trying to keep his distance from all the freaky stuff but still be down for his big homie. And now this corn star trying to claim that he's the one in the video. Yeah, fans have been having some different reactions to all these allegations with people taking different sides on the matter. They've been leaving comments like, Stevie J that dong gobbler like we didn't already know it. Seriously, this isn't adults having X. This is a ring of people engaged in X trafficking, forcing employees to have X if they want to keep their jobs, and secretly drugging people then pawning them off to others for X. Every single bit of this is illegal and heinous behavior. And is he aware of how bad he's making himself look? All this deriding is only making him gayer than the allegations suggest. But y'all, at the end of the day, it's just another chapter in this crazy saga of the music industry. But one thing's for sure, Stevie J might wanna watch out because if these allegations are true, he might find himself in some deep, deep trouble. The cop kind, not the man kind. We'll have to see how it all plays out, but trust me, 
I'll be here to give you the latest updates and let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think that was Stevie in the video? And do you think that Stevie J knows way more than he's letting on? Or is he just covering up for Diddy? Drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.